Good evening, Kickstarter, GoFundMe, Indiegogo, and Peerbackers. This is Sandy Shades from the Society for the Preservation of Comedy, and we are live from the border of North and South Korea, the most dangerous demilitarized zone in the world. These could be the words of my next video. If you, the internet, decide to fund what could be not only the greatest civilian diplomatic mission of our time, but the funniest joke ever told, waka waka. <laughs> Right. As we have recently learned, Kim Jong-un, Supreme Leader of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, has no sense of humor. <laughs> At all! Even for a guy raised in a brutal dictatorship, he seriously needs to lighten up. <laughs> Un. Un. If you're watching this, I want you to understand that, that being the object of ridicule is not just a sign of, of well, ridicule, but also fame! You have reached cultural relevance! Dear leader, there is literally no one else in the whole world that can make this joke work. Oon. Oons. Get it? So I recently discovered that Kim Jong-un went to college in Switzerland in the 90s. That was during the heyday of Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. And I got to thinking, and I mean to create a joke so amazing, an act of physical comedy so hilarious that Kim Jong-un himself will have no choice but to laugh. And to do that, I need about $12 million. <laughs> because I'm gonna build, in the demilitarized zone, the biggest Rube Goldberg machine the world has ever seen. <laughs> now, my Kickstarter that I had in order to make a PowerPoint presentation of the Rube Goldberg machine actually didn't reach its goal. So, <laughs> I expect you all to bear with me as I act it out for you. Picture, if you will. <laughs> Two sawhorses with a plank in between, and on one end, napping peacefully, is a cat. And our project begins with a baseball bat. One brave volunteer will start a round of Dizzy Bat. <laughs> or she will then scatter drunkenly over to the sawhorses and fall, flinging the cat into the air. Meow! He lands on a slip and slide. Meow! And shoots right into the chicken coop, which opens up the lever, which opens the door. And the chicken, for reasons that are never exactly explained, goes running right across the road. has been hidden the remote control to a Roomba written by a shit's... <laughs> the chicken pecks the corn, and the Roomba's off, and the shit is barely hanging on, and he goes flying towards the pool, and finally it's flung off. There's a man standing by the pool taking that photo video of his wife on a floaty raft. The shit who hits him in the knees, he falls, he hits the raft, she's flung up onto the roof of the house that we built, and there's a dad. He's dressed as a Santa. He does the funniest thing when that happens, which is fall down the chimney. And he comes out, and he's all covered in soot. And we're having ourselves a blackface minstrel show, people. <laughs> Jazz hands! <laughs> that's not really funny. <laughs> you know, that's never funny. All right, scratch that. No minstrel show! <laughs> okay. So he falls down the chimney, and he gets stuck in there. His legs are kicking out the bottom, and the maid notices, and she shoves a broomstick up there, levers him out, he goes sliding out into the garden, knocking over a ladder of a man who's painting the upstairs window, and rather than that man falling to his death, he glides the cord of the blinds, and the blinds raise up, and Grandma's just out of the shower. Which startles the birds and the eaves. Which awakens a troop of trim squirrels who race down the rope course until they find the one rope covered in suet. <laughs> which, when it breaks, it drops a sandbag onto a lever, which flips up a magnifying glass, which, using the power of the sun, ignites a candle that's under a rope that's tethering a camel. And the camel does what the camel is always long to do, which is head on his handler right in the nards. <laughs> and so he staggers, staggers over to the horse trough and falls, startling the horse, who rears up and puts his butt right on the hot wood stove, and then he's off galloping across the field, where he encounters a jamboree of clowns. 
clowns. <laughs> and the clowns are so startled, they take off through a minefield of banana peels <laughs> until they see the safety of a bridge over the pond. And they pile on the bridge, which collapses. And the splashes fill the buckets, which act as counterweights, which turn on <laughs> all of the industrial fans that are set up in front of the refreshment table of cream pies that we have in front of the bleachers. And those cream pies will hopefully blow with any luck onto the faces of Kim Jong-un and his cabinet and all of his ministers and many of his citizens and with literal pie on his face, Kim Jong-un, because he will never admit that he was pumped. And within the safety of this completely unlikely series of events that could not possibly have been pre-planned. <laughs> Kim Jong-un will have no choice but to laugh. <laughs> laugh and laugh. And when dear leader laughs, all of North Korea must follow. And that internet is how world peace is made. <laughs> so far I have a bat. <laughs> Ticket to this event, please pledge today. <laughs> <laughs>